guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. You know me, I'm Tom. Sorry, I haven't done a video in six days since last Sunday, and there's a reason for it. I did a video uh, probably about two weeks ago about painting, and I just told you guys that I'll probably never do another painting video or another painting instruction video because I get a lot of pros and cons about those videos, you know, from freehanders and things like that. So, what's really been happening is Ever since last Sunday, after I came off, I, I did five videos when I was up on the farm uh, showing you guys the food plot that I made and, you know, just all the different things that I was doing up on the farm. Uh, when I was at the bonfire that morning, it was cold as hell. And all I can say is that North Carolina, wow, we've had some crazy weather. We're getting some more crazy weather. There's possibility of snow in the morning and then a monster rainstorm's coming in Tuesday. Uh, you know, last week the weather was perfect. So, the reason why I didn't do any videos is because I was painting. I had two marathon paint jobs that I had to pull off. I had two real estate agents call me up. Both of them had houses sold. And the bottom line is, is they were complete repaints, interior repaints. There was a lot of bad paint. It was just really ugly. And, oh my God, all I can say is I painted my butt off for five straight days, and, and I'll lie to you not, I made a crap load of money, which was cool, uh, but the bottom line was, is all painting, and I just didn't want to bore you with that, I know a lot of you guys like my handyman videos and stuff, but when I start getting into the painting videos, um, I get a lot of flack, let's just say that I've got one video out there out there right now with uh, painting, uh, you know, a master uh, tells you how to paint the right way, it's got like 43,000 views on it. You know, a lot of great thumbs up, a lot of great comments, but a lot of negativity too because of all the freehanders. So enough about that. The bottom line is, is that I was painting all weekend long, or all, excuse me, all week long, and I just didn't want to go through the boring part of showing you paint work, okay? So, but let me tell you what else has been going on here. Uh, this market in Raleigh is crazy, man. That's all I can tell you. It's freaking crazy. Uh, if you want to get in the handyman business, you guys need to get into it. And if you're from another state or another country and you're really thinking about moving and, and you want to get into a hot market, uh, I ran into a, a perfect example. I ran into a guy. Uh, I was at a house doing some gutter cleaning uh, just yesterday. And uh, we know this big storm's coming this weekend, so I had some customers say, Oh, Tom, I need you to do this for me, I need you to do that for me. And I went ahead and hit all my landscaping customers up. And I was in a neighborhood, uh, and a guy was across the street with his van. He was doing some screen work. And, he, and he, him and I were just got, we just got to talking, you know. Uh, and he goes, hey, you know, who are you? And I asked him who he was and all this stuff. And he goes, I'm a retired union worker from up north. I came down to North Carolina to retire. And I says, well, it doesn't look like you're very retired to me. You know, you're working over here, you know, and he goes, man, he goes, I can't, he goes, I can't believe it. He goes, all I put is a, a little, a small ad, you know, for screen replacement professional. And he said he's so swamped that he can't stand it. And he can't hire, he can't hire anybody. He can't find any young apprentices that want to work for him. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I want to talk about. Bear with me. Bear 30. He's running into the same problem I'm running into. My apprentice blew out. One day, six hours, I must have, I, I must have hurt his feelings or I don't know what the hell, but he's never called me again. So hiring young guys to do work around here is really, really difficult, man. I lie to you not. And he's having the same exact problem. He's charging what he wants to charge. People are accepting his, his bids. And he stays busy, constantly stays busy, and he doesn't advertise. He put one ad in, and that's all it took, and he says he's been wide open ever since. And you know me, I don't advertise either, and I'm wide-ass open. Here's what just happened. Um, I went to a realtor's, uh, 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 the realtor called me and says, Tom, meet me at this place. And I said, okay, this house is up for sale. In fact, technically it's sold. And the uh, buyer said, well, you know, let me bring my inspector in, and if he says everything's good to go, we got a deal, okay? Well, the inspector found a bunch of siding that was just bubbling. It's masonite, okay? So it's bubbling a little bit. It's a little soft. 
but the whole place was repainted brand new. Or, you know, the whole place had a fresh coat of paint on it. So the inspector said, uh, you know, it would be advisable to replace 50 boards of this masonite siding. So I went out there and I said, yeah, you know, this ain't that bad. I mean, to be honest with you, it's really not that bad. So I hit them high. I said, well, if you want me to replace 50 boards of masonite and paint it, I said, here's the number. It's not, a, it's not cheap, boys and girls, I'm telling you right now. I hit, them, I, I hit them right between the eyes on it. They accepted it. The seller accepted it. So at closing, the, a, a real estate attorney, or excuse me, the, uh, uh, the, yeah, the attorney is going to send me a check in advance to do the work. I mean, and it doesn't stop from there. You won't believe this. I get, I get a text message this morning on a million dollar home that I looked at a month ago. And I just told the guy, I says, look, he's, a, he's, a, he's an international business guy, import-export. He imports used auto parts, okay? He's from China. And he, he, he says, Tom, he goes, uh, I've had a couple of bids on my place, but nobody shows up, nobody calls back, nobody, nobody follows up with me. He goes, uh, I want you to do all this, this wood rot repair. And he's got a three-story Charleston home, three decks, all rotted. And I said, I said, Richard, I said, you know how much, you know how much work there's here? Do you know how much money it's going to take to fix this place up? Do you know how much time it's going to take me, one guy, to fix all this stuff? He goes, I don't care. He goes, I don't care. I, I, I trust you. You're the only person that seems to damn show up. You know, when, when, when you say you're going to show up and you do the work. And I said, okay. I, I told him I really don't want the job. He goes, please do the work. And I says, okay, okay. So we're meeting to next uh, Wednesday, uh, next Thursday. It's coming up Thursday. And I'm going to get a deposit from him. And I told him, I said, as soon as I run out of this money, I'm going to hit you up for more, and I'm going to keep hitting you up until the job is complete. And if it takes me a couple, three months, he goes, I don't care, just get it done. Uh, I suppose what's going on here, guys, is probably what I'm trying to tell you is this. I'm a little frustrated. And here's why I'm frustrated. And this, this, this is directly to all you young guys out there. I have no idea what you guys are thinking. I really don't. I mean, can you imagine learning a trade that can pay you so much money and just OJTing with a, a, a master? And I don't screw, screw the master thing. Forget me saying that. Just somebody who knows what he's doing, who's been at, been at it a long time, and I teach you a valuable trade that can make you a crap load of money in the future. Doesn't that sound entertaining to you? Apparently not. Guys, get off your cell phones, get off your video games, get off your girlfriend situation, get off the drama of your life, and get into the reality of the real world. Crap. It, it, it pisses me off because you guys are missing such a great opportunity. You really are. I mean, I paid the guy well to work for me for six hours, paid him cash, and he never shows up, he never calls. What's up? What's up with that? I mean, you know, so that's probably why I haven't done a video in, in over a week. I know it's about painting, and I told you I'd never do another painting video. But this, this whole thing's frustrated me. I mean, this week has been frustrating because I got these big, huge jobs coming up, and I don't have a single person out there that's got the gumption to want to earn and learn. I just don't understand that. I really don't understand that. Please, if you can leave me a comment explaining this to me, I would really love to hear it. Men, women, boys and girls, please leave a comment. I know I've got every age group in the world watching my channel from all over the world. And I try to give you guys incredible advice. I really do. And a lot of you guys take it. And a lot of you guys have started successful businesses of your own because of my advice. And you've taken that advice wholeheartedly and, and you went out there and conquered the world. And, that, and that's what this is all about. It, you know, if it's not about money, what is it about? 
You tell me. I'm confused. Because right now, I've got, I've got, I'm booked till June. And, and I don't want to be booked till June. But I'm booked till June. And there's a possibility, too, that I might be getting all my power washing contracts back from the hospital. Holy crap. You know, kind of scare. You know what I'm going to be? I'm going to be working eight days a week, and there's not eight days in a week. <sighs> Can you tell I'm a little frustrated right now? But I'll tell you this. Here's the here here here's the positive flip of the coin. That means I'm going to make a crap load of money in the next three or four months, with or without you. You make that choice, you make that decision, I'll leave that one up to you. If there's some young man out there that's got damn head screwed on straight, who's willing to learn, work some long, tough, hard hours, outside, cold, hot, rain, it don't matter. You give me a call. And if you can't handle that, don't call me. Because I won't need you. But if you want to earn a great living at being a handyman, then you know what to do. Hit up my digits, okay? And for, for the rest of you out there, I got one thing to say. I love you. Tom out of here. Y'all have a great day. You know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Leave those comments. Send a link to your friends. And we'll catch you on another video. Hopefully I won't wait a week, okay? See you guys. Peace out. Hasta la vista.